This is the character Deadpool, uh, a.k.a. Wade Wilson, from uh, a quarter-scale statue from Courtmaster Studios in the Philippines. This is the second video I made of this guy because the first one I talked way too fast, and there's not too much to say about this guy. There are some bullets on the ground, um, so I talked way too fast. So I'm going to talk a bit slower in this video. There are some grenades. Um, I'm just, you know, this is not like World of Warcraft figure where I could talk about the game um, that much. There's some knives. Uh, I have to say about um, a lot of the statues from the Philippines. Let me turn this guy over a little bit. He, um... Courtmaster Studios and some of the other uh, guys um, from the Philippines. Um, they have a lot of good artists there. Their uh, statues are much more dynamic poses than uh, Sideshow. And I think that's one thing that Sideshow could improve upon is um, the poses that the guys are in. Because, um, look, this guy, Deadpool, is in. Wade Wilson is in an absolutely fantastic pose. Look at this Punisher. All right? He's just standing there. Look at this tank is Finley. One foot up on a dead hydralis. Diablo 3 overthrown. One foot up on Diablo. Um, Dry Knight Paladin versus Blood Elf Rogue. One foot up on a rock. Um, and this is, look at this pose, this is fantastic. Um, so this is, uh, that the samurai sword, let's see, is actually made out of, uh, real metal. Um, <clears throat> so I've been reading the comic Deadpool, it's funny, Deadpool, it looks like he could kick a lot of ass, and he can, I think he does that in Uncanny X-Force, I haven't read that really. Um... He, uh, he's just funny. He's like has a dissociative identity disorder. He's got two voices going on in his head and he speaks with them. And it's like each voice is a different person. And somehow whatever he's doing, it always works out. And he is really funny. Um, <clears throat> in the current one, he just like defeated evil Deadpool. There was like an evil clone of him. Um... So yeah, look at how great, this is a fantastic statue, there's the metal blade, um, there it is, you could just stick it in there. Um, the, originally Deadpool was done uh, by the artist Carlo Barberi, is that his name? Um, well, at least the first in the series, Carlo Bar, let's see, what's his name? I have a comic here. Uh, Carlo Barberi. He was in the first. Uh, he did the first. Um, I don't know when he stopped doing Deadpool. I think that up to like Deadpool, to Deadpool uh, 45 or something. But he did. Um, I, at least I read. I got a um, a hardcover book um, uh, about uh, Deadpool. The first sticks collects the first uh, 12. Um, comics and it's the artwork by Carlo Barberi is fantastic unfortunately he doesn't do the comic anymore he is a truly great artist um, so here's some more of Deadpool um, so what Deadpool he's got uh, his power is he's got regenerative healing factor just like uh, Wolverine he can heal really fast. He loves uh, tacos and burritos, and he always he's usually broke, and he usually does more good than bad. Even though he's a mercenary for hire, and they call him Merc with a mouth because he never shuts up because he's talking to himself. Um, so great, amazing, fucking statue, fantastic. Much better than the court man, than the sideshow one. I think that's gonna come out. That's just him standing there, like with the Punisher, and he's got a gun up. I mean, don't get me wrong, sideshow's great, but uh, I'd like some more um, cool poses and positions, dynamic uh, poses. That'd be cool if they could uh, work on that.
so there he is there's some great great statues if you're looking for statues go to the statue forum it's statueforum.com and uh, there's a lot of great sculptors there who create uh, custom statues I really want to get this quarter scale uh, Batman spawn that's gonna come out so Deadpool has regenerative healing factor and he's also really ugly because uh, he has cancer but his healing factor is what keeps him alive so there's the video great quarter scale statue and see it